Hey, everyone, so this be a setup of the Tap Fin 3 gallon all in one beta tank here. Uh, so, first, I'll show you guys what this thing all comes with. So, you get a three gallon glass tank, of course, is what this is right here. Strain that out a bit. You get a filter, uh, basically, it is a in tank filter. Uh, submersible filter in a way. Uh, then you have this 20 watt heater, which is fully submersible. Uh, it looks really nice actually. As far as how good that looks. So you get a net right here. Basic black net, nice and small. You can catch your beta. You get one of these. Ooh, that looks really bad. There we go. Uh, water test vial. You get this as well. Uh, so you can put water in here, bring it into the pet store, uh, pet smart in this case, and get your water tested. Let's see, then you also get the top, which is in the back there that has LEDs built into it. Show that off better at the end of this video. So you get a little thermometer, a cheap little thermometer here, uh, which I will be using just because. And then you get this really cheap looking beta leaf, uh, which is just very cheap silicone. And we'll see how well this thing actually works. I mean, it looks nice. It just looks cheap at the same time. Uh, it, it just should be a little bit more like this. Not so flimsy. And I think that's about it. You do not get any gravel or sand. Uh, the sand actually came from the tank that's next to it here. Uh, but you get, pretty much you get everything that you need except for decor. Uh, except for that little beta leaf. You get the, So no decor. Of course no water. And no uh, gravel or sand or substrate of any sort. I do want to apologize about any reflections you guys see in this video. Uh, just as kind of in a weird spot in my room. Uh, so yeah, so we I will show you guys what I'm going to put in here. Uh, first is the sand. It is actually Glowfish brand sand. It is very colorful. It's pink, I think green, like purple. Uh, maybe some black in there. It's a whole bunch of different colors. So we're gonna be using that. We're going to be using I showed here this thermometer. We're going to put in this beta leaf and see how it actually looks. Uh, then I have off this side here from this tank, I actually have a couple of uh, a plant. I think it's actually a little fish brand plant as well as a fake log. All right, so I stuck my thermometer right here. Uh, eventually I'll probably take that thing out, but that way I can see it from this angle here. Uh, next, I'm going to put in the beta leaf, and then you guys can see, barely see it right there, the fake plant. So I suck, stuck, not suck, or I guess you could say sucked to, uh, to the glass here. The beta leaf there, uh, so you want to sort near the top so the beta can actually lay on it and then get to the water, or to the air surface uh, pretty quick. Uh, it, like I said, it is so flimsy that I don't think I'm going to be keeping it in here too, too long. And I stuck my fake, it's actually a rock, but it looks like a log in a way. Uh, so stuck that there. Then I have my silk plant back there. Uh, the next step is to, of course, put in water. Uh, so I'm going to put up the water to probably somewhere around here or so. Uh, as you do have, on the heater there is a... Uh, water level spot, same thing with the filter. You have to have it to be at least that spot, uh, the minimum water level. Otherwise, they would just not work right. All right, so I filled mine up to just below the bottom of the black bit there. Uh, then we'll turn on the filter and the heater and everything else in just a moment here. Uh, mine's a little bit cloudy just because this stuff came from another tank. Uh, then too, with being sand, it actually does float. I don't know if you guys see that in the video or not, but there's, it'll be floating all over. Uh, so you kind of want to knock it around. Uh, another good idea to do is also take something and kind of dig it around through the sand. If you're using sand, uh, because it will have a bunch of air stuck in there and you'll see bubbles come floating up. Alright, so mine is all set up now. You guys can see how cloudy it is. Yeah, that should go away uh, within a day or so. Uh, hopefully, hopefully within a few hours here uh, with that filter running. Uh, you can also see all the bubbles on here. Uh, so yeah, I mean this looks like a nice little tank. It is it is a glass rectangular tank, uh, which is very cool. I said you get almost everything you need for a tank in it, hence the all-in-one name here. Uh, so you're only missing substrate, 
which almost no tank gives you substrate anyway. Substrate, uh, of course the water, and some decor. Uh, then you guys can see here, when the heater is still warming up, it, it, it has a red dot on it. I'm hoping that would just turn off when it is, uh, when the water is warm, warmed up to the temperature it should be at. I'm hoping it does not turn green. I just like them to be red and off. Uh, then there is the filter. This filter is different from most half thin filters. You actually do get some biological filtration in there in the form of the ceramic rings. I'm hoping I have the filter set up correctly. You guys see I have the rings on this side and then the, this over here. Uh, it just doesn't seem quite right. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking that is correct. Uh, instructions aren't the best on this. Um, so yeah, as I said, usually they don't come with that. It's usually just the cartridge. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know you guys' thoughts. And as always, I really do appreciate y'all watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.